A two-week nightmare deepens for more than 200 schoolgirls abducted in Nigeria. In the capital city of Abuja, supporters of the families marched to the National Assembly to press the government to do more to rescue the young women. But the military has so far been unable to even find, let alone free, the captive teenagers. The girls are mainly Christian and were attending the Chibok School in northern Borno State. The Islamic militant group Boko Haram is being blamed for the abductions, although it has said nothing. Now, relatives of the abducted girls say they're being told some of the captives were moved into Cameroon, forced to convert to Islam, and then sold off among their captors for marriage for about $12 each. Let's bring in Vladimir Dutier, who's monitoring the situation for us from Lagos. Vlad, I've got to ask you about these reports we're hearing of the girls being out of the country and being married off. Have we had any official statements put out by the authorities there in Nigeria? Aisha, well, we've only we've called the military every day since this horrible incident first took place on on the 14th when uh, in the middle of the night armed attackers stormed into this dormitory and we've asked them to update us on their efforts to find these girls yesterday we reached out to the military again to ask them about reports that these girls may be in neighboring Cameroon uh, and they really didn't send us a complete statement but I'll, I'll just read it to you anyway in part they said no information is being ignored in the concerted effort to ensure the safety and freedom of the girls just pray for the successful outcome of all the efforts please now parents in Borno state are hoping for more than prayers Aisha they're hoping mm -hmm. for some decisive action as you just mentioned there are reports that these girls may have been taken into Cameroon but that is a typical Boko Haram modus operandi they operate in between freely in between the porous border between Nigeria and Cameroon and even into neighboring Chad uh, if you recall last year there was a French couple uh, on vacation in Cameroon that were kidnapped taken into Nigeria back into Cameroon so that is what Boko Haram is known to do. Parents on the ground though are furious. If you can just grasp, I think people can grasp the unimaginable pain and suffering that these parents are going through as they wait for some word as to the fate of their daughters. It must be excruciating, Aisha. Yeah, and not just waiting and praying, also taking to the streets. Uh, our understanding that they took to the streets earlier on today to express their, their anger and despair at authorities. Uh, tell us more about the protests that we've seen on this day. There have been several protests, Aisha, uh, across Nigeria. Today, there was one in Abuja. Uh, a couple of hundred people, almost a thousand people, showed up in the rain to march to the state house to demand some kind of action. Tomorrow, there's one planned for here in Lagos early morning. We'll be at that, bringing it to you live as it happens. Uh, and I think that for the first time in a long time, people across Nigeria are mm -hmm. very, very frustrated by what they see as a lack of any kind of commitment by their military or their government to do anything in this particular case to bring these girls home. And this, the world is starting to take notice. There is a very strong social media uh, trending, uh, bring our girls home, where are our daughters, hashtag, that has been trending on Twitter. Uh, and that has in part been one of the reasons why these protest marches have started. Uh, people f uh, have, have talked about it. Uh, Gordon Brown has talked about it. Uh, Sec uh, Secretary William Hague has talked about it. So clearly, Ban Ki-moon has mentioned it. This is clearly something that that has captured the attention of the world. And what Nigerians are saying is, when is it going to capture the attention of their leaders?